Camping with a portable power station means you can bring some comforts of home without dragging along a generator, but how far can you really stretch a small capacity battery? Ruko sent over their R299 portable power station and RK200 foldable solar panel, so we went camping and used it to power fridge, laptop, charger phones, and more. For the most part, it worked fine, but not without some trade-offs you'll want to know about. 288 watt hours may not sound like much, but for someone just getting into camping, it can cover the basics. At around 330 watts of AC output, you're looking at enough to run small appliances and most electronics without issue. Units in the size range typically come with a good mix of ports, and this one's no exception. You get multiple USB-A outputs, a 60 watt USB-C plus DC outputs, and a single AC outlet for basic appliances. There's even a wireless charging pad right on top for your phone and a built-in flashlight on the back that's surprisingly useful at night. Now recharging is straightforward. You can top it off at home from the wall, keep it charging in your vehicle while driving, or pair it with the solar panel once you're set up at camp. The panel I tested it with is Ruko's RK200, a foldable 200 watt solar panel with adjustable stands. It's pretty rugged, weather resistant, but since this battery maxes out at 120 watts of solar input, the panel never really reaches its full 200 watt capacity. In this case, it just behaves like a 120 watt solar panel. Still, it works, and you can even run the panel by itself to charge smaller devices like phones, cameras, or drones directly by plugging them in. During our weekend camping, the setup worked fine overall, but a few limitations stood out. Even before heading out, I noticed one issue. Unlike many newer stations that use a simple wall cable, the Ruko R299 relies on an external power brick. It's similar to a laptop sized charger. It keeps the unit lightweight, but the brick does does run hot while charging and does take up some additional space. So that's just something you'll notice while charging it at home. Once you're actually using it at camp though, another limitation does show up. With this unit, you only get one AC outlet on the side. Now it's not unusual for the size and capacity of this power station, but it does limit what you can plug into it all at once. Charging speed is also on the slow side. Wall input caps at about 50 watts and solar maxes out at 120 watts, meaning it can take anywhere from a couple hours to several hours to recharge. Now the biggest drawback, while the unit is charging, the AC outlet shuts off. You can still use USB ports, the 12 volt output and the wireless charging pad, but don't expect to be able to use the regular household plug on the side. So what can a small station like this actually power? For our trip, I made sure it was fully charged at home and kept it plugged into the truck on the drive. So when we arrived at camp, we had a full battery. For a unit this small, we were impressed it handled the fridge and still had some power left over for small things like LED lights, a laptop, and charging our phones. It's also perfect for little conveniences like topping off a Bluetooth speaker or using an electronic pump for an air mattress. Just don't expect it to power high wattage appliances like a coffee maker, induction cooktop, or blender. So who exactly is this for? If your needs are simple, this size of a portable power station can make camping a lot more comfortable. Since it weighs under nine pounds, it's easy to pack and take with you, but for weekend trips, where you're pulling steady power from something like a 12 volt fridge, pairing it with the solar panel, I would say is a must. I had to keep an eye on it and move the solar panels around to chase the sun a couple of times, but by doing that, we were able to run our fridge, keep our phones charged, and make it through the weekend without running out of power. So if you find a good deal on a smaller station and a solar panel, it's a smart way to get into camping or overlanding without spending a ton up front. Later on, you can always upgrade to a higher capacity unit for heavier power needs and keep the smaller one as a supplement for charging phones in the tent, powering lights, or maybe even running a projector, while the bigger unit handles the fridge or other demanding appliances. So is a low capacity budget power station and solar panel enough for a weekend camping trip? For us, the answer is yes, provided you keep your power needs modest and realistic. Now the R299 comes in at $199 and the panel lists for $299 on Amazon. In this range, you can find other options with more capacity or lower cost solar panels, so it's always worth comparing before you buy. For us, it powered the basics on a weekend camping trip, but it's always smart to do some shopping around. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe for more camping and off-road content. Thanks for watching.